Hello friends. In this video, I will explain school management system in Laravel. How to set up admin themes? So first of all, we need to download admin themes using Google. So let's go Google. Go to for this websites. You can see it here download button click on the download buttons after go to course here you can see is a course inside click on the download zip files once you can download I already downloaded before but I can cancel because I already download so these things here you can find out close some other files so you can see it this is the admin themes I can open these themes here okay so let's open is the edit HTML themes one types of admin banner so you can see here every things available we can use in our school management system uh, I am go to pages so you can see it inside extra you can see it login because we need to make first login screen here so we can go to which one i don't know which one we, we can like this is the one and uh, here also there login to this is also there i hope i think this is the goods let's copy these files okay we can go over projects school.com here the projects this is the admin themes pages examples inside login view to html so this is the pages okay i open these pages you can see it here is the file i copy all the ports go to our projects first of all you can check the our routes so the views welcome okay after we can change the file name don't worry uh, we can go here views welcome i copy i remove all okay i paste here so let me refresh our projects so you can see it's without html showing like this so we can implement our html so let's let's go back and check okay plugins so he can using the plugins lists plugin list okay we are going back admin themes still go back here i can copy this and plug in two files means two folders i can paste in our public folder the files okay copy done let's make a proper path here we can make a proper url let me close this file open again so we can see proper way so you can see it you see so our folder name public so I just copy Thanks. and here also maybe space not. I don't know what's the issue. Let's make control here because I don't understand. I'll copy all things. Oh, I see because I have not closed the Laravel. So I think I made a one picture. Let's make one picture.
Don't need to change this file because it's already live link about Google Forms. Okay. Sometimes you can type, sometimes you can copy paste, whatever you can like, you can do your own. showing our login themes go and check here you can see it same we can change our name login okay now i will create one dashboard file so suppose you can click on the dashboard so we need to open i can i think i can create an admin slash dashboard so we can create new routes, webs, add copy, and put years. We can do admin, admin dot dashboard. So admin is we need to create one folder inside a view. names admin inside i will create a one files blade files dashboard dot blade dot php so let's see which one is better for our dashboards okay in themes i think this is also good we have a good let's go to dashboard 2 the dark themes Dashboard three. I think we can go dashboard one. So in next word ph html. We can go fish says admin themes. Uh, first files in html. Okay. I copy these files. I put here. So you can see it all the coding about dashboards. Let's make all the URL proper. So this is the already dynamic, so we don't need to do anything. Just we need to change here public. After we can remove the unusable files, but right now we can set up all the files. So we can see. I just add a public because we have all the things, all the files we have inside public folder. So I am adding all place public. Now I will make a URL. Let me close one times. Oh, sets. I, I am doing wrong way. Sorry, bro. Sorry, friends. I open again, I copy and I put in. Okay. I close this files, I open again this file so you can see changes. Else? 
I did copy all the place. Because this video is going to long because we need to set up the admin page. Next video is going to be short. Because we provide like a proper login system. find out the all the plugin all the date pickers means all the plugin this reason we are using this thing so you can need to use data tables you need to use the date pickers so we can easily use we need to use the graph so we can easily use and this is the we need to remove demo for first part we don't need now I let's refresh so I hope work now still not working what is the issue let's see some images not found plugins oh these two files also not there let's check Why I know because this is the dollar is not defined, so I understand something missing. So I go check back and check the code. So I see two file view not still linked up. You have any question about the thing setup? Please comment. Let's refresh now. I see themes open you see it but still not found some images so let's sort out this all the images okay this is the file also not found let's start where is this file so because we are not at a public folder name here okay so this file also found this is the image not found so I just copy and I find every place and I can add you can see it's, this is the shortcut lots of shortcut available but I can actually drop away this is I am not using shortcut
refresh refresh did not come because the url missing us so we need to add a replace url copy again and again so you can put that Because lots of image we need to load. Now done, okay. Let's refresh the page so you can see it. So you can see it, the, all the images, you can see the admin themes, proper. Next video, I will show you how to divide layouts, headers, and footers.